Welcome back guys, to one of the best Pythoner YouTube channel, where we share the coolest tricks and tips about Python automation, that requires no coding skills. And for today's video, I'm going to show you, how to run a simple Python script that is already built for you, to create multiple Gmail accounts, without phone number verification. Ok let me explain more about how this script works. So basically, this Python script generates unlimited email addresses, which all point to one inbox. This means you can create multiple accounts for a service, while all traffic is pointed to one inbox, which is useful for mass creating accounts. And I'm going to test the generated emails on an online service, so we can make sure that this script is 100% working. So without further ado, let's get to work. First of all, if you haven't installed Python before, make sure to download the latest version of Python, and I'll make sure to leave all the links mentioned on this video in the description below. Once you install Python, I want you to come to this GitHub repository, where you're going to find the link in the description as well. And this is our Python project that we will be using, to generate unlimited email addresses, and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to run this Gmail generator, even if you have no experience in coding. So in order to use this Gmail generator bot, make sure first to leave a star for this GitHub project, it's worth it. Then click over this green button code, and click again on download zip. Now drag the downloaded archive zip to your desktop, and extract all the files. Open the new generated folder. So what's cool about this script, we won't install any library, it's already installed by default. So all you have to do, is go to the path of this folder, and type cmd to open the command prompt. So the only command that we will type is, python emailgun.py. And as you can see, our script now is running successfully. So now we have three options, the first one is for generating email addresses, the second one is for exporting the generated emails in a specific path, and the last one is for closing our program. Let's start by typing number one. So the script asked us for how many suffixes we want to generate, which refer to how many email addresses we want to generate. For example I'll create 1000 email addresses. Then we need to provide our script with a Gmail account that we want to use. So I will use the email address of this Gmail account. And as you can see, our Gmail generator bot, was able to generate 1000 email addresses of our Gmail account. Now press enter to save the emails. Great, for the next step, we will export all the generated email addresses by typing number 2. And the script will ask for the path that we want to use to save the file in. So I will just create a new folder, and name it with a mail list. Then I'll copy the full path of the mail list folder. And add it to the program. So the script is telling us that the Gmail accounts are exported in the selected directory. Now press enter to continue. And finally type number 3 to close the program. Now let's check the generated Gmail accounts. As you can see guys, this simple Python script, generated 1000 email addresses for us, and saved them in a text file, which is pretty cool. Now let's discover if those email addresses are working or not. So I'm going to test them on this online voice maker service. This service turns text into speech, and provides various i voices, and it supports multi-languages, like the one I'm currently using. So as you can see, I already have an account with the same Gmail account that you saw before, and my free trial has ended. So I'm going to try to create a brand new account, using one of the generated email addresses. Ok now it said we need to confirm our email address, which is supposed to be sent to the same original Gmail account. Now let's verify our email address to complete the registration. And let's log in again with the new email address. And here we go, we were able to create a second account on Voicemaker, using the same Gmail account within seconds. So that's it for today, hope you enjoyed this quick and short tutorial, don't forget to thumbs up the like button, and subscribe as well for more great contents like this, see you next time.